And I'm Bryce. And, and we're, we're Better, Better Half, Half Reviews. Reviews. So today we are playing board game survey says. And today's questions are general questions. So hopefully it's a little bit easier for those who are not really fully into gaming. Um, so everyone can play. So what we're going to do is if you have a pad and paper or your phone, we're going to be going through some questions and uh, you try to pick what you think is the top choice. Most popular. The most popular choice, which is always going to be what I pick. <laughs> Not. <laughs> anyway, so it, it's just a, a fun little game. There's 10 questions, so it doesn't take too long. And you can join us in. We'll see who wins. Yep. And I'm going to win this time. Redemption. We'll see about that. Whoever loses has a pick of shame that will go on our Instagram. And so hopefully that's not me. Totally going to be her this time. <laughs> we'll see. All right. So everybody ready? Question number one. What's your go-to player color? Green, red, blue, yellow, pink, purple, orange, white black so there's just a couple choices <laughs> just a here. Few. so i think we should do like the top two in order in order you get... uh, fine the top two colors in order hopefully you can read my writing So personally, I end up choosing pink most of the time <laughs> uh, when we play games because uh, no one ever really wants to choose it. So, you know, just because I choose it doesn't mean it's a good choice. <laughs> and if there's no pink to choose from, he just picks whatever's left over. Or Everybody yellow. Else can go first. Okay. It usually goes pink, then yellow, then whatever's left over. All right. So let's see what you guys got. I said blue and green. And I said blue and red. I thought about red, but... We'll see. Okay, here we go. So it looks like number one is blue and then green. Oh, man. So let me just put my two points on there right now. Boop, boop. It is followed by red. So he was close. So he was close. And then all the way in last was, oh, wait, tied for last, white and pink. <laughs> yep. Go pink. Sweet. Two points for Allison. I got a point. So not too far behind. Okay. Question number two. What's your favorite player count? One. For all you solo guys out there and gals. Two, three, four, or five plus. For all you people who actually have friends. <laughs> <laughs> this is hard. It all just depends on who actually took the survey. I could I didn't see your board, but I could totally tell what number you wrote <laughs> by how you wrote it. I could tell what number you wrote too. Fine. It's three. <laughs> I said three. And I said four. I think four is a good number because like couples probably like to get together. That was my my rationale. I feel like four is a really good choice. I'm just hoping that it's three. Cause I put three. <laughs> All right. Top choice is four players, then three players. So Bryce gets a point. Tie game. Womp womp. Question number three. Yep. Three. So divisive question time. How do you store your board games? Horizontal or vertical? <laughs> I know what we do. I know. Oh, this is going to be hard. No, I'm changing my mind. Uh, 
All right. Give me another second. Okay. Horizontal. Horizontal. Yep. We're probably going to lose. <laughs> but I... hey, then we're both wrong or we're both right. Okay. Horizontal. By 20%. So 60 to 40. I thought it would be a little bit closer than that. I've seen some other surveys where they were like just one point difference. So you mean so. you cheated? You did some research? No, I didn't even know the questions. You I'm made up the kidding. questions. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this is the first time I'm seeing these questions. I haven't looked at them in a while either. So. Okay. Question four. What's the worst thing to have around the gaming table? Pizza, Cheetos slash chips, drinks, chocolate, or fast food? Yes. All of the above. Yeah. That, that should have been, been an option. That should have been an option. <laughs> but then we know what it would have been. But then again, like, I don't know. I think drinks are okay, just depending on what they are. Yeah. I'm just thinking about, like, greasy things. And chocolate's melty, and Cheetos don't che even. Yeah, I was going to say, like, Cheetos seem to be the worst out of all those, in my true, opinion. True, but I think, like, greasy stuff, like fast food or pizza would be even worse. Because Cheetos, they are greasy, but they're more dry. Anyway, we're going to stop analyzing food. Um. Oh, this is hard. All right. Everybody ready? I totally looked. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. One, two, three. Sorry. I said pizza. I said Cheetos. I understand the grease, but just the, turning everything orange, I don't know. Grease is orange. Anyway. All right. Ow. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, wow. We both lost. I am very surprised by these results. So, top choice was drinks. Followed by Cheetos or chips. Then fast food, then pizza. Oh, well. I'm surprised that drinks are so high up there. Well, you know, they're liquid, so if they spill, bye-bye game. Yeah, I don't know. I think there's always, like, you can get cups with caps and whatever, so I don't know. I'm surprised by that one. So, question number five. Pick one. Meeples, minis, or standees? Okay, people who answered the questions, <laughs> are you like Kickstarter fiends? Because then I know what your answer would be. They're all good for different reasons. I know I have a favorite. I'm just going to put this, even though I'm probably going to be wrong. I have my favorite, and it's meeples. I said meeples as well, although I have a feeling it might be minis. I mean, or standees, I don't know. Minis are nice, but I think me meeples just are a little more practical, in my opinion. But we'll see. Oh, yeah. by a wide margin. Meeples. Meeples, and got it. And then, then minis, then standees. I'm not surprised that standees were last. I don't know. There's some good standees. Like, I like the standees in Red Raven games because they look really cool. Oh, that's true. And with minis, for me at least, we haven't gotten around to painting them, so they're kind of boring looking. I mean, they're really cool, but I like it. I like colors. And meeples are colorful, generally, so. I like the versatility of meeples because they're kind of generic, so they can like stand in for anything. Whereas like minis, like they're just they look like the one thing, and that's what they have to be. I don't know. And same with standees, like they have the picture on them. So true enough. That's my thought. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So question number six: Which would you rather play, co-op, competitive, or one v all? By the way, the score is tie four to four. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we're over halfway. 
Oh man. Co-op, competitive, or one verse all. Are you fake writing right now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody ready? I said co-op. I'm saying competitive. I wanted to write competitive, but I wrote co-op anyway. I know we like co-op games, but I think competitive is going to edge it out. Probably. But I mean, Pandemic is awesome. Love that co-op game. Drum roll, please. Do -do 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 Oh! By a very wide margin, competitive has won. <laughs> uh, can I pretend that I won? Okay, it yeah. It's like 68% to 29%. Co-op was in second. So I should have just put... Oh, no. Let's see who's in the lead after round six. It is Bryce five, Allison four. Uh -oh. This is my first time being behind playing this game and i do not like this pick of shame pick of shame i need a two-point question here number seven if these were your only options and you had to pick one which would you play monopoly the game of life sorry shoots and ladders or Candyland. <laughs> I have no idea what everyone picked. I mean, I don't know. We played Candyland a couple months ago when we got it for our son. <laughs> yes. I feel like uh, I don't know. It depends on people's nostalgia factor too. Everything I want to pick, I feel like it's wrong, and I'm going to pick it anyway. All right, everybody ready? Here we go. I said sorry, not sorry. I said life, <laughs> game of. <laughs> so, I think Monopoly uh, might might win. I don't know. But I remember playing lots of life when I was younger. So, let's see. Oh! By 2%, the game of life. Then Monopoly. Then Sorry down there with only 22%. That's I'm sorry now. another point for me. No! I'm gonna lose, you guys. <laughs> That's now six to four. Okay. On to question seven. If... Eight. Question eight. Oh, yeah. Question eight. Sorry. I just <laughs> read question seven. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Since we're making up numbers, I've got an extra point here. <laughs> still, he would still be behind. Shush, he just had I'd one extra closer. point. <laughs> okay. Question eight. Of the options listed, what's your favorite type of theme to play? Zombies or post-apocalyptic? Zombies or post-apocalyptic? Sci-fi or space? War? Fantasy adventure? Western? Underwater? Medieval? Horror? Animals or nature? Or pirates? All right, so we're gonna pick the top two here. Ah, uh, if. I was going to be fair and let you try to catch up. I would say yes. And you are. I mean, there was like, what, eight options? Yeah, anything? okay, let's do it. Top two, you have to get it in order. Ugh. But that's hard to do. It is. That's what makes it worth the extra points. I'm going to be wrong.
I'm changing my mind. Okay, have you picked your two? Yes. <laughs> I chose fantasy and sci-fi space. <laughs> no! Oh, we chose the exact same thing. Wait, did you change your answer after you looked at my board? I couldn't see your board. I had did he look? Originally, I had, I had fantasy and war. But let's mm. see. Now I can't get ahead. With 33%, it looks like... Fantasy and adventure. We each get a point for that. And number two... Sci-fi. Sci-fi space. Just right behind that. Yeah. Dang it, I needed him to choose differently. Can you unchange your answer, please? No, it's okay. Fine. You guys, I don't think I'm going to be winning here. <laughs> it is currently 8 to 6. And we have two more questions to go. So, oh, no. number 9. Worth would... like 7 points. No. Please. <laughs> would you rather win, lose, or just have fun? Well, I know what Allison's doing right now. But would I rather be losing? <laughs> This is actually a really hard one. I mean, I play games for fun, whether I win or lose. Mm-hmm. Except I usually end up winning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on the game. <sighs> I looked. Well, I kind of wrote a lot, so. I know. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I wrote fun. Just have F U N. Fun. Survey says. Just have fun. 62%. And, and then everybody else wants to win. And then a few people play to lose. Why? Two, two people, exactly, play to lose. Why? <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't understand that, but. Maybe they're thinking it's golf rules? I don't know. Maybe. Or maybe they just enjoy the company and they don't care what happens. But then if you do that, then you'd rather have fun. I don't know. Who's throwing off our results? <laughs> All right, last question. Please have lots of answers so I can get a couple points. Never mind. What's most important? Component quality, art or theme, strategy, good rule book, or mechanics? That's a good question. If I had to choose just one, what would it be? Uh, again, I have things that I want to pick, but they're probably going to be wrong. <sighs> just going to do it anyway. Shame is coming. I know it. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> and considering it's no <laughs> nine <All> to seven. <laughs> oh, we both chose art and theme. Yep. Interesting. Well, if you can't tell, we like pretty games. <laughs> but then again, you but see, strategy like... and stuff is important, and I like. Yeah, we'll just we'll just find you out. You see, like Wingspan winning a whole bunch of awards, and yes, it has good art, but the theme is completely different than what games usually are. So true. All right, but it has see. a good theme. So mechanics, which is uh, legit. That was my second oh, one. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, let's see. <laughs> art and theme was like way down there. Oh well. Art and theme was <laughs> second to last. Yep. All of you like mechanics and then strategy. Which is, you know, the mechanics of a game is important because you like to play certain types of games. You guys, my pick of shame is coming. I lost. He's paying me back. 
Make sure I do the arrow in the right direction. <laughs> no, you can put it back your way. That's fine. <laughs> All right. So how did you guys do? Did you beat our scores? I had seven. I had nine. That's ridiculous. Well, so, all those extra points. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> but yeah, so comment in the comment section down below. Tell us how you did. Did you have fun? Um, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. We'd be happy to have you guys come back for another one of these. Yeah, definitely. We try to do one of these board game services once a month. This has been Better Half Reviews. I'm Allison. And I'm Bryce. And she's going to have a pick of shame. No! Whatever. <laughs> Bye. Happy gaming. Have fun. <laughs>